All right, so this standard is I can interpret the slope and y-intercept in context. Okay, in context, that's important. Joe noticed that every time he planted a new heather bush in his backyard, rabbits burrowed underneath. He gathered data and found that for the number of heather bushes, X he planted, so X is heather bushes. I'm going to go ahead and draw a graph. This is bushes. The number of rabbits, Y, number of rabbits is Y. increased accordingly to this least squares regression line. Okay, y equals 4 plus 3.8x. This is my slope. This is my y-intercept. Okay, so that means that we've got 0, 4 as a point, and my slope, my change in y over my change in x, is 3.8 over 1. The change in y is the number of rabbits. So rabbits per the change in x is bushes. Okay, so we're going to interpret the slope and the y-intercept for this least squares regression line. So the slope is this. There's an increase in rabbits of 3.8 for every bush that gets planted, for every one bush that gets planted. Okay, so the slope is telling me for each additional bush planted, there is an increase of 3.8 rabbits. You can't just say 3.8 is the slope when you're being asked to interpret in context. Okay, to be, to interpret. You have to tell the person what is this 3.8. Okay, the y-intercept in context, you can't just say 4 or 0, 4. What does that mean? Well, 0 is bushes. And four is rabbits. Okay, so what does the y-intercept mean? Okay, when there were no bushes, there were four rabbits. When there were no bushes, there were four rabbits. That's what it means to interpret um, information from an equation in context, okay? I really like to label a little graph with what is the X and what is the Y, and then it helps me to figure out what's going on. All right, that's it.